School's out for the summer, and some districts are getting quite a shock as they reevaluate an educational research database. A CBS4 investigation found that tax funded database can lead students to pornographic and obscene material. Brian Moss picks up the story from there. This is all about women's orgasms. Yes. It's not what Robin Patterson oh, expected her teenage kids were getting access to through a school sponsored uh, web portal. The Hers Guide to Great Sex. When she began checking the EBSCO portal, which is in 55,000 school districts nationwide, including many in Colorado, she was surprised to find many links kids could click on took them to dark places. Booty basics. And this whole article is a discussion of, of her as a porn star and her work. While teenagers can find this kind of thing easily with the internet, for Patterson, there was a difference. We pay for this with our tax dollars. That's right. The Cherry Creek School District, where Patterson's daughter goes, pays about $31,000 a year so students can access the EBSCO website and all the content it offers. So this is all about sex toys. It, it's all about sex toys, yeah. There's obscene material, there's soft porn, there's links to hardcore porn, there's links to movies. Not the kind of stuff you want your 13-year-old kid looking at? Not the kind of stuff I want any child looking at. Adams County School District 12 also pays so its students have access to EBSCO content. But when it started taking a closer look at what teens could get through EBSCO... My reaction to this is that this is absolutely not appropriate for use in our schools. This district took swift action. We shut the system down. We engaged in conversation with the vendor. We went through all of the databases and we excluded uh, periodicals and databases. The Cherry Creek School District, where Patterson's daughter attends, has also now taken steps to limit student exposure to inappropriate materials. There's some articles in there that I don't know that middle school age kids need to be reading. Superintendent Harry Bull says when students access EBSCO websites, they have to now click on additional waivers and warnings, and other changes have been made. With, with the removal of, of those periodicals that may or may not have questionable material, that we kind of put things in a, in a tighter box. The Pattersons are glad districts are taking steps to shield students from objectionable materials paid for with public money. That's not censorship. That's just recognizing that as adults and parents, we have a duty to protect children from information that can be harmful. Brian Moss, CBS 4 News. EBSCO conducted a review of its content and removed certain publications and articles from those databases. Says it's also working with the school districts to help them remove any content they don't want. So